Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. You may not recognize the city because we haven't spent a bit of time here in a while. This is Silverdale, where we started um, moving stuff around. The reason that we're here is, well there's two reasons. The first is that there's no public transport around here. You just... We had to drive. There's no options. But there's also no way to get to any other city. You're stuck here. Right, so that's the two things that we're going to uh, work on today. Once, we've just done a couple of little upgrades. This guy needs another truck to help move Conmite out. And this guy will give another truck to move stone in. And we'll just keep an eye on those oops, later uh, as we need to. And this train here. And the one's going down to Silverdale. I think they're the old style tank cars. Let's just see how much it's going to cost to replace this. Maybe we'll go with one of these. And then our oil cargo. A hundred million. Uh, that's a little bit out of our budget for the time being. But it's good to keep in mind. That we'll give a capacity of 260. It's only one more than they currently have. Interesting. I like one... A 26. Okay, that's fine, uh, but we'll keep that in mind um, for later. First thing we're going to do is to get some public transport in and around here. Now the way this map is set up, most things happen by water. So we're not going to put our public transport by ship, or at least going over the sea. We're going to do it via a plane. Now, a nice place for an airport is probably in this gap here. And then we'll, maybe even on this side, or this flat over here, could possibly work better. So we want a passenger airport. Um, it's going to cost about 15 million to put this guy down on this side. Do we want to do that now? That'll use up most of our budget. Maybe we go with the cheaper. Passenger um, dock. Uh, you can sit there. We need to do a little bit of excavation. So we've leveled a lot of this out in here. So we'll take that level and bring it out here. So, we'll smooth this out a bit, and around there. It's all navigable, which is wonderful. So this is one place for our, um, our passengers to arrive. Then they need a way to get into the city. So we'll need a bus depot down here somewhere. Uh, we should probably... Uh, put some landings on here. So that our ships can actually uh, come and go. Uh, we need a bus... Uh, like we don't need any... 
perspective. Let me rephrase it. We don't need anything this big. But it will certainly be nicer for managing our passengers if we have it. So let's try and get this down at the same height as our port here. Maybe an easier way to do it. If we say level, there, just a little bit here. And then we can squeeze these up close to each other. We can probably, before we do that, add some uh, entrances back here to make it uh, I know we can't do one there that's weird and then we can put this like, if we keep it close we've still got one one joiny thing at the front there. You can go there like that. And then we just need to connect this onto that road. Right, we'll pause. Delete that road back to there. Level some of this terrain out. Get our little country road so that's similar to how it was before but we're gonna dip it down a bit to make this connection possible and we'll go oh, too much slope let's take that out <coughs> pardon me let's take that out then Maybe you can come out to here. I'll give you a bit of a, a grade. Now that's too much slope to there. Fair enough. We'll go back some more. Now you're happy. And you're happy. And this guy still connected to everything, which is excellent. This is still connected to stuff. The port still connected to stuff. We haven't broken anything. We can press play again safely. Now I've got a little bus stop down here. So let's just make it a teensy weensy bit bigger. And we'll give them a nice little building at the back, back over here. just smooth this out a bit so it's not quite so ugly done what's going on there there we go done now we're done so we managed to get a little bus stop down here that's pretty cool now we'll get some bus routes in and around Silverdale now the way it's, the city is set up at the moment, a lot of stuff comes down here to this road, or here to this road. I, I think we're just going to need to add in a couple of little helper roads to help this out. So we'll put one in there. No, we don't want traffic lights on you. And then over here, maybe we'll connect across there so we have a route around that way as well okay so let's get our bus stops we're going to be coming from down here I think we need them 
here, even though it's on the main road, just to service this area. Okay, so we've got there. Then let's stop up here. We can go over there. And out this side of town. And over here, maybe. Then down here. And lastly, maybe there. That leaves a lot of the middle empty, though. So we might put a another stop there. All right, let's let's get building these. Oh, this is buses. This is Silverdale buses. Uh, we'll go route one, counterclockwise, and then a second one. Clockwise. I think this one, this uh, city will probably have two routes. So let's set up two routes initially. And then see how it goes. Uh, Silverdale, route one. So say dark green. And we're going to say, go from out here. Now this is our counterclockwise Fluoro green is counterclockwise. I'm going to say go to there. I think we want this one to just be the shorter one. Go around like that. This one, uh, pastel green. Take the same path but the opposite direction. Cool. Uh, now this one will go fluoro blue. And it's your job to do the outskirts of the city. Around like so. And this one a pastel blue in the opposite direction. Excellent. So let's just check that, yeah, so all of these spots in the middle have bus coverage. Cool. Let's get some buses on there. We had four routes. That is a giant honking bus. And it's quiet. You know what? Let's do it. Uh, 16. So we want uh, 4 uh, fluoro green on the counterclockwise line. 4 pastel green on the uh, clockwise line. 4 fluoro blue on the counterclockwise line. And another 4 pastel blue on the Clockwise line. So we should start seeing people wanting to catch our uh, buses. We are, however, going to make sure all of the roads are bus ready. So down here, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Uh, these are not fine. They are now. And if we look at uh, these routes around the edge, we need to go there and then there. It's kind of a bit of a higgledy piggledy way through. Let's go this way. Too much slope. Really? 
There we go. We'll just draw these back in. So the game knows it's allowed to build out there. And then we'll turn off traffic lights. All of these, all of these, all of these. Done. Now, we will say no to that road. Uh, no to that road. No to that road. That one's fine. No to that road. And I think all of those are fine. Ah, oh, you put this back in, did you, game? We own this road. Better say we own this road as well. And that section. What is it that? We own all of that. I don't like saying I own stuff because it stops the game just doing its thing. But sometimes its thing is really, really not intelligent. Alright, how's Silverdale going? It's starting to get some passengers going around there. <clears throat> Our stone here, slowly going down. On mat over here, not going down. We'll put another truck on there. Maybe we'll just give these a, a little bit extra storage. But we can't do anything. You don't get any extra storage. You can have an extra truck though. And over here, there's a lot of con mat stored on this line with one ship. You can have two ships. Anything else on here? You, you can have a second ship. The other things seem to be fine. Alright, so we were able to get passengers out here to our, our bus depot now. We need to give them somewhere to go. And I think... I think we're going to have two main... Well, it'll probably just be one circular route out here, down to Port Charles, across to Masterton, Castle Point, and back, and then the opposite direction. So you uh, we need to configure you can go down that way oh, you already have a passenger hub Good. you can all go there so that will be the, the two directions that it needs now down here, we need a port close enough to our bus routes and the train, because this is too far. I 
Okay, you do manage. We just looked at the wrong time. Right, we've got a passenger harbour, small two terminals. So that's close enough to get to the bus, but not the train. If we come over to this side of town. Still not close enough to get to the train. gonna have to settle with just having bus access which is a bit annoying but there's not much you can do sometimes oh, we want another platform on there another Port. And then down here at Castle Point, we have a lot of oil sitting there. Not really. This already has a passenger platform. Did I put that in by mistake? do that at all. And I'm concerned that deleting this landing will stop us from being able to put it back. That's a lot of bread there. You got a lot of trucks. You're not all getting caught somewhere. So many people driving up there. And do they need like a ring road to get into the city? If we say out here, right, let's pause right, this here uh, in a radius, uh, make this a big boy. And we want three lanes, we need a bit more space. Let's go right there. So we need a little bit more space. You yes. You come up to there. You come down to there. Too much slope. Still too much slope. Hmm. Okay, 
So you can do that. We do want to add a bus lane onto here. Now, we want a another road off the side here. We'll go to there, maybe. And you have bus lanes going that way. And then a non-bus lane route. I guess it could have bus lanes as well. Coming around the outside. Over here. And into the city. And then on this side we're going to do the same. We'll come out there. Maybe join... Let's smooth some of this land out. So you should see that... Um, has it put traffic lights in here? It has there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Once this has sorted itself out a bit. Good, we've started getting some cars going up the... Oh, which one is it? This one. Up the outsides. Which will put less pressure going through here. Just leave it and see how it goes. See how it improves our traffic flow. Maybe on this side... We can give you big boy road. Maybe to there. And then the outer section will go big boy road too. So they have a few more lanes to pick from for what they want to do. Maybe even this section, we can make it bigger. Hmm, I didn't want it to go that far back. Wait, how far? It went right back to the tunnel. Oh my goodness. That is not what we wanted. Only to like there. Give them an idea that they have to spread out. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, down here... So it won't even let me delete it. a pain in the neck. It's at these storage bays here. entirely sure what your problem is. So we can delete that one, but not this one. Why not this one? It's exactly the same as the others. Maybe it's just broken? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's a pain in the neck. 
because I don't want that. Yeah, let me put a... Yeah, that one's just like completely broken. We just want to get rid of the the landing. Let's pause. If we delete that. Now we can delete that. So we can add this guy back in. But you won't let me. Put a dock back on that. There we go. There we go. We got there in the end. Um, let's put an entry. It's not going to let us put one up there. We have to smoothly smooth this land out first. buildings back now. And then this, let me have an entrance up here. Not gonna let me, eh? I don't see why you're saying that outside navigable waters when they're exactly the same as everything else. There we go. Okay, so we've got two ports everywhere. We can press play again. Just make sure that stuff here didn't get messed up too much. It did. At castle point, we want you to stop in bay two. And there's quite a... Well, not that much stuff. It just looks like a lot. Right, let's get our uh, shipping passenger lines going. This is a, a ship line. This is an intercity axe. Uh, we'll say counterclockwise, because we then want a second one, or clockwise. This, let's make you dark green. And you start over here. So this is counterclockwise. So you'll go to there. Down here to Masterton. And then over here to Port Charles. We'll check all of your ports. Okay, that makes sense there. Uh, sure, that makes sense there. Down here. Sure, that makes sense. Over here. Does not make sense. That's because we did a silly. And put down cargo docks instead of passenger docks. Uh, you manage line. Uh, you can stop on port two. We'll make you a, a, a just a bit lighter green. Now the clockwise one. Let's make it a fluoro green. We're just going to go the other way around. So Silverdale to Port Charles, 
over to Masterton and up to Castle Point. So Silverdale, you've done something reasonable. At Port Charles, you haven't. Go ahead onto that port. Over here, you've also not done anything reasonable. That looks better. And up here. There we go. So they are definitely not going to be money makers for us. But they will help get people between cities. So you 70, 93, but you only carry 20 people. I guess we are going with this, with this ferry. We've got two routes, so we'll buy eight of them. We'll say four, our like mid dark green onto the counterclockwise packs or fluoro green to the clockwise packs and with that we um should start seeing some intercity travel now especially over here from silverdale So 31% around the city using our buses. But we've now got people going to Port Charles, Masterton, Hastings, Glenburn. So they're doing a transfer. Hastings is a transfer. And Castle Point as well. So we can't complain about that. people on our public transport network and now they can travel between cities still a lot of bread here I think it just depends on the timing castle point uh, yeah not many dry uh, traveling up to Hastings I think the last thing we we do today is replace this uh, bus transfer. It's just it's not cutting it. People are unhappy with how long it takes. I'm going to assume. Now, if we could get. A train station down in the middle here. It would save us the transfer as well out to here. I just think... It's going to be too long. Yeah, so that will take up a block and a half there to give us no space to get over or under the road there which means we'd need to come back even more and then we're interfering with our uh, existing lines if we were to go out here We do get bus connections. Maybe that's the answer. Right. We're going to need to pause because we need to delete well at least those sections. 
And if we can position this so that it gets a connection on both sides, even better. There we go. So that train station connected to bus stops over here, bus stops over there. <coughs> And at the top of the hill up here, I think we want this right alongside the main road here. Uh, just like that. Um, in here, this transfer line, I'm going to sell all the buses, this other transfer line, sell all the buses, uh, delete, yes, you, manage line, delete, yes, delete, yes. Right, now we just need to get our rail from here down to over there. Really? That was all low speed rail? Hmm. Let's maybe just start it turn here like this. We will diamond at this end. And then down here, you also need to be upgraded to high speed. I think we just turn this one slightly to the right. If it'll let us. There we go. Right, we're going to diamond across here as well. And now, let's just see what the game thinks is a reasonable answer. Pretty straight. Um, and gliding a lot of places, but it's also complaining about too much slope. Right, now down here, let's tidy all this up. Oops. We're going to go from there. Maybe we'll like turn this way a bit more. And then turn back again. We do want to keep the speed up though. Maybe like that. And then from there to there. Still unhappy with the slope. Alright, so we, we need to just keep that down a little bit. Yeah, it still doesn't like how steep it needs to come out. Uh, this we're going to say is uh, this and it's 
You definitely want it going down. Uh, if we say bridge. We could say land to there. And then bridge. And then go back to dirt. And we still want this. Hmm. Uh, so that collision with with that road is not great. Uh, go down as much as you can, please. Maybe we face that in that direction. Uh, this tunnel here, we can extend a bit. Just say, yeah, keep going up, just not quite as much. We do that, and then you go from there to there. That'll do the job. Now we just need to get these uh, rails to attach to each other. can come around there and let's do this side as well but we can press play again so you we will need some income to be able to afford this So how far, so they're still quite a vertical distance apart. So we might need to let's back this one up a bit. Maybe to there. pretty content that that part is going to stay the same. Now I'd love if we could just do this. Um, but it's going to be too slow and it's complaining about slope. Bring that back maybe to there. I'm just trying to line this up so they'll like meet here but at an elevation offset. And then we'll put a loop on this side. A big loop. Um, to be able to uh, adjust the terrain height difference. So outside, outside, outside. That will be this one. We want you going down as much as possible, please. Uh, 
Maybe to there? Man, we just had it and I um, missed the click, but feels like by a fraction of a second. So now if we do, I guess we got to um, help it out a bit more. So speed of 102. Uh, what? Uh, other than it not cutting it. We really want this to be up near 160. concerned about now is getting this to uh, connect I think we might need to come out a bit more here Do this, where's our so that's the smallest loop we can get that keeps it at 160? It's an awfully big loop. going to be a bit sharp. Man, some of those pillars are gigantic. And have we gone up way too far? We've gone up way too far. Look at that now. These can't be too far off here. Okay, I just paused it. Right, we can't pause it because we need uh, money. Let's let's get rid of all of this. It's just it'll look cool, but it's totally impractical. the kind of height difference we're talking about. It's not much. Uh, 
Yeah, how much is it? Like half a dozen tiles. Can we accommodate that by moving this back a bit? Potentially. So you can just sit back in here. Just poke your head out of the... Uh, tunnel. Okay, all of this... Gone. Gone, 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 gone. snap there. Okay, how far down here does this need to go? Alright, so by there, we're on the ground. Okay, let's pause. Confirm destruction. And rebuild this by taking out even more houses. Excellent. Uh, we do want these to be uh, high speed rail. And now, uh, yes, go up as much as you can. Up as much as you can. I mean, we did devalue these guys' houses pretty bad. Having a relatively major train station right at the back of them. Now, I tested this and that was far enough. Okay, which line do we have? We've carried through the left hand line. Now, this is, this should not be too much slip. Because we measured it. And it fit. So why are you complaining now about too much slip? So we can't really eke this back any further. Like, that's it. That's as, that's as far as we can go. this so different now when before it was happy with it if you want this grounded Uh, 
we can press play again. Grounded. Yes, this is still a massive height difference. The only way we've got a chance is by raising this whole level here. Which is not going to come cheap. something tricky with the entrances and exits. Uh, you can connect back to there. Okay, so that's our rail in. This is literally connected to nothing though. Uh, configure side entrances everywhere, please. So connected to nothing. So we're going to need to just add a little a little street along here but at least this is connected to that bus stop now Can we do anything about how ugly this has turned out? Not really. Not really, it's just kind of there. We'll make this bus stop way busier though. Um, let's replace them with these bigger bad boys. I'm gonna need way more of them now that it's on our train route. Uh, let's put the other track in. So, let's signal this up. One way, yes. Auto signaling, yes. These can be way shorter. And then down here, just before the station. Where would have been a better... Look, I don't really think there's a better place to put it in there. Is, is our one of our issues now over here we want a depot uh, we're just gonna have them uh, 
They always have to connect southbound. These can only be 160 meter trains. We want them to be fast. Uh, top speed 101. That'll do. That's too long. Dual stock 150. That's basically perfect. Uh, they're 41 million a pop. Let's borrow a little cash from the bank to help us out. We have to put the line in first. Oops. Uh, castle point to Hastings Axe. Uh, we'll go dark green. We're going castle point to Hastings. Easy. Uh, you dark green onto that line. So hopefully, this will start to get some passengers up here soon enough. We can probably, let's take out that road. Just trying to fit a little bit of road in here. And then you. Come down to there. So now it's connected to this side as well. Bit awkward, but does the job. Mm, that is not a road that I wanted in there. Thank you, game. Can we take out another section of it? No. Oh well. Got people on our train. That is. That is a lot of people waiting here. Wow, look at them all. Now, how much are these ships even? Are they like 10 million a ship? Must have paid some other bills at the same time. Um, and we let us put.
we dig this out again, I might fill in the back a bit. Is it is it just the storage here and these three things that keeps getting in the way? Um, okay, can we put a terminal down here? No. It really doesn't like Something without the section is built. Like it's the entire way down. I guess we're just kind of stuck. We just stop playing with it. It'll be fine. of people waiting over here. How about down here? Got loads of people at this random bus stop. You know what, buddies? You can get a proper bus stop. You manage line, so then stop there, don't stop there, and oh my goodness. less busy on that side of the road, but this is insane. Um, replace them with the big boys, give you way more of them. And I'm just going to put a second short loop in around the other side of town. This is a bus line up Masterton Ship Tax Transfer. Uh, where are you? Up there. Let's call you a. Uh, I don't know. This bluey type color. And we want you to go from there. You have a relatively simple route to there. Uh, if we say the other side of the route. I don't like that you're turning around on the main street. This is... Well, that road doesn't connect. So sure, you can stop there. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, we have a depot here somewhere. Over there. I'm gonna get maybe four of these big boy buses. Was this bluey type color onto there? 
I want this. Upgrade, yes, add a bus lane. Got these roads through here. And none of them need traffic lights. And that street there, you're gone. Now we'll hopefully have a bit less pressure on one side here. And they can share with the opposite side. But I'm super happy with how... How these are going. Uh, what is this route? Well, this is people getting to there as well. We'll just give you the bigger buses. We won't add more though yet. There's definitely just... Wait, we've got two... Two lines sharing a platform there. Alright, pause. Delete. Delete. Configure, entrance, exit, exit. Narrow angle. Which way are you going to be happy that it's not a narrow angle? None of them, it looks like. like. Narrow angle, narrow angle, they're all narrow angles. All the way, what if we say straight? Not happy with any of them. I guess that's one thing we could do. Uh, say you uh, come straight out there, and then you connect across here like this. That only needs to be two lanes. That only needs to be one lane. And then the same up this end. We're just going to put one big honking road in there. One lane. And all of you connect into it. Now, play friendly. There's actually four lines that go through here. And this looks so ugly. With the different size stuff. traffic lights. So you actually want a fourth platform? 
narrow angle. What? I don't understand why the game thinks you want to adjust the entrances and exits just because we're adding another platform. Like I want them crammed in there super, super tight. I don't want you to try and guess what I'm doing. Just just do what I've done, please. So why won't you connect now? Connection not possible. Why are they not possible? There's no reason that they shouldn't be possible. Do you have like a minimum length you want or something? Who knows? Stay on platform one. Fair enough. You manage line. You now come into platform three. And on your way in, you go through there. Cool. Now you manage line. You will come into platform two now. And on your way in, you go through there. You, oh, you're not. At least we've got one side of them not being silly. Right, manage line. You now go through platform one. And on your way in, go through there. Now we'll add our waypoints on the outside. Since you all want to be like that, on your way out, you go through there. Uh, this guy, manage line, on your way out, you go through there. And this one, on your way out, you go through there. Simple. Uh, let's just repay this loan back. So now, no single platform is quite as crowded. And how are we going over here? Well, we can't not have a traffic light there. Awesome. And I'm going to add another boat on each of those because they are doing quite well and over here uh, where are you down here pretty happy with all of those um, our train here is 
doing all right. Not as busy as the road. But the road is a lot less busy now. So let's just assume that it's because we did something helpful. Alright, I think we... Uh, we'll call it there. Uh, we should probably check that Silverdale. Look at all that public transport compared to driving. Not many in Silverdale, but everywhere else. How do you not be 100%? Whatever. Riversdale Beach. Where is that? Um... Yeah, in the city, not so much. Where is Riversdale be? Oh, this guy right in the middle. How did we miss that? How did we miss it? We are just gonna... Smash a book right in the middle there. Um, and you, counterclockwise, it would make most sense to be between Castle Point and Masterton. So you stop there, and going the other way, we would stop there, but on the other side. Cool. So that's all of our cities now connected by packs. Well, at least from Silverdale. And if Silverdale can get to any city, then any city can get to Silverdale, which means that if there's not a direct connection, they could go from anywhere to Silverdale to anywhere. So our city is now fully connected with public transport. I wonder what these people over here are. They're jumping on the on the train. Uh, on the train. Uh, on the boat. It's only a small town but they like it. One port. Super. Well I guess it's not that port. It's everything else that's happening like other than this section here and here I don't know what they're doing and over here it's um maybe they were just leftovers from other stuff before or the the ship lines go right past the island not just right past the island, right past the residential area of the island. All of these, those four, we could probably shift out here. Which would quieten it down a bit. But you're not going to uh, get much less. Like if we put a boy out here right, that'll set up the shipping lane there whoops not manage vehicle manage line so you go masterton to castle point so you would say go through there, and then back through there. And this guy... Silverdale to Masterton. So you'd go through there, and then back through there. The last one is a yellow line. 
from down here. Manage line. So after Masterton, you go through there. And on your way back, you go through there. So that will reduce the noise pollution here because they're just further away. We might, while we're here, just fix up all of them. So it's Silverdale to Castle Point. So you have to go through there. But you don't come back this way. You come back this way. We want you to go through there. I think that's everything. There we go. They're all... All sorted. Even away from the... Uh, the passing... Like the housing area. We can't do much about our boats. Why are you so close? Like the channel's out here. Maybe they'd already left before it updated. Don't know. But that will help Riversdale. Eventually. And you have a lot of con... Wait, there's only one truck on there? Not even... Uh, that is not what we wanted. Not even the... Like the... The Kenworth is... Is good. Uh, 90, capacity 30. Uh, these guys, 100, capacity 32. Um, and... When you have the Conmat special one, capacity 38. We're, um, we're going to take it. It's demand here. 300. What? That is rid ridiculously insane. Is everywhere over here getting combat delivered? It is. That is insane. We need to give it way more storage. So is this actually sending that much down there? 180. Because you're maxed out on how much you can produce. The stone down here, also maxed out. Are there any other? What's the is Masterton Conmat down here? That's nice. Is there another? That's a quarry in use. Okay, so I think we're going to need to look at getting this quarry uh, up and running, down to here, and then getting a second uh, stone delivery down to here. That is insane. That will all be for next time, though. Um, let's let's come out here and look at uh, our passenger ferry. What a way to dock! Um, certainly not safe. Uh, look at all these ships. Uh, I hope they play friendly on their way in and out. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for stopping by today. I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. 
If you have, do consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It does help out a lot. Otherwise, I'll catch you all next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now.